you can definitely taste the alcohol and if you love rum you'll like this one it's probably my favorite actually ah. love it Good morning from Zurich. I have a day layover here in Zurich. I have to check in for my next flight tomorrow morning, but now I'm about to leave my excess luggage in the locker that I don't want to carry around the city today. So I find a locker here at the airport that you can just leave your luggage, but basically a self-serve. Let me see how much it is. For the small locker, for up to 12 hours is 6 Swiss franc and then the medium is 8 and then the large one is 9 Swiss franc. Zurich train system is not difficult to figure out. It is really easy to use. Definitely do not forget to validate your ticket because nobody's gonna check it except occasionally there's someone gonna tap you in the back and then ask to see your tickets on the train. And if you happen not to have a valid ticket, the fine is huge. So just don't forget to do it. So this is how you validate your ticket. Platform four for the S16 train all the way to Patrick. Patrick is a good friend of ours. He lives in Zurich now and he insisted that I have to meet up with him during my transit here. This train is amazingly smooth. There's not even like a bump when you film outside the window so smoothly. You know, you can't expect that from the Swiss engineers, but it is a very punctual system and everything is labeled and marked correctly. Next halt, Zürich Hauptbahnhof. Terminal station. All passengers are kindly requested to leave. This is our stop, so we're heading out at Herrliberg station. <laughs> I see Patrick. Oh my god, how's it going? Oh my god, good. Such a long time. Yeah. time here in Herliberg catching up with our friends Julia and Patrick and this place is amazingly beautiful this is actually sitting next to the lake and this is a really cool community to be in and now we're about to head back to the uh, city center their house is sitting next to a train track and it just comes occasionally <laughs> And I find it's really cool. I call it the hill of death. The hill of death? Because, I mean, walking down is fun. <laughs> we are trying to go to the boat, and the boat ferry will take us back to the city center. A beautiful ride. It's gonna be a beautiful ride. He hosts the barbecue or something. <laughs> While we join the party later. I'm a chartered financial analyst yeah. a holder. Patrick brought me to this little green patch thing by the uh, Lake Zurich and this is specifically reserved for the residents of the place which we are eligible to get in.
we came across. Oh, that's a bridge. ready to go. <laughs> so we're just off the boat and now we're about to explore the city center. Boat is good because it's relaxing and we have to stop because there's a bicycle lane that we have to stop obviously if you don't want to get run over. This is the main drag of Zurich. There are a lot of fancy cars and what they do just drive around. There's no particular name but this is uh, the Bürgerplatz is here where we arrive with the boat. Okay. And then we have like the main bridge to Bellevue which is the kind of the, the biggest square here in the center of Zurich. Cannabis is legal. There are a lot of shops that cater to cannabis people. Cannabis people who... <laughs> cannabis people. Who people who US. like cannabis. Who <laughs> come primarily from the US. So there's a lot of water fountain in Zurich and Patrick said there's about 1400 fountains that you can find in Zurich. So it's a European style walking to the top of a hill to oversee Zurich. Boy, that's a workout. in Paradeplatz and this is the financial center of Zurich according to Patrick. They're not open. <laughs> the legendary Café Schober. This is a very cute setting in the middle of the historical center. Across from the Café Schober is another legendary establishment of Zurich. It's called the Swassernbach, where they roast their own coffee beans from all around the world. So from Brazil, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Guatemala, Jamaica, Colombia, and everything in between. They also have a lot of tea products and a lot of spices that make a tea good tea. Fill your water bottle, get it from the very top fountain, not the one that goes with all the trash here. I just drink the bottom one. Apart from the United States, Switzerland is another country where you can see the national flags flying everywhere. In Zurich, you can see all the Swiss flags flying every corner of the city. Of course, it's my day one back in Europe. I have to keep telling myself to stop saying that any buildings are beautiful because it's just overrated. I can say it every single time I see it. It's just so pretty. So I'm standing here in Bahnhofstrasse. This is basically the shopping district of Zurich. Unfortunately, Sunday is not a good day to be around because a lot of shops are actually closed for Sundays. But no matter what, it's still actually good to just walk up and down because you can check out a lot of really cool places, a lot of cool stores, and show off cars. There's a lot of them here. With the Zurich card, you can actually hop on all these trams for free. And it's included in your Zurich card. Bahnhofstrasse got its name from a train terminal at the end of this road. Underneath 
the main train station. There are a lot of shops and they are open on Sundays, so we're gonna explore. Refreshing, but my cameras get wet. <laughs> Oops. So I'm inside this Prunely shop here in the main station. There's a lot of pretty chocolates and cakes. Now I wish I can eat them all. <laughs> chocolate store inside the train station is, oh I'm gonna pronounce it so wrong, it's called the Laderach. This is also one of the famous, just typically Swiss chocolate. If you've been to Switzerland and have preference on the Swiss chocolate, just leave the comments below and let us know which one is your favorite. Let's go in! One more the, the rum that looks really good. That's it. Just for a snack. Thank you. What's the damage here? I just get a free cookie. She called it biscuit with hazelnut as a sample. And I got three truffles and that cost me 444 US dollars. Just to give you a perspective how expensive these are. And they're actually sold by weight. So you can just put as many as you want because it's all by weight. So I got three kinds of truffles. One is rum, the other one is mousse, and I completely forgot what's the other one. I'm about to have a try of this. Oh, it's really creamy inside. This chocolate melts in your mouth and it's really sweet. It has the bitterness of the dark chocolate and the texture that actually crunchy on the outside. It's really good. Okay, now I'm gonna try the chocolate mousse. Oh, it has the biscuit thing in the bottom. So it's kind of crunchy and then kind of smooth and your teeth just kind of cuts right through the top part of it. Not as good as the first one. The rum seems interesting because it has a solid chocolate on top of it. Oh my God, the rum is really good. You can definitely taste the alcohol. And if you love rum, you'll like this one. It's probably my favorite actually. Ah, love it. It's 7 o'clock here in Zurich and then the sun is starting to get pretty low so it's gonna be sunset here pretty soon. I'm just looking at different angles that could be good for sunset watching but I don't think it's gonna be any good because it's not really facing west or east or anything. The river behind me here is north and south so we'll see. There's actually a good spot to watch the sunset here in Zurich. I think this would be it. This is the Mules Tag with the umlaut. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But this is a pedestrian bridge and then it becomes the love lock, like some people kind of putting locks into the uh, railings of the bridge. It's a really cute one. sunset here in Zurich. Uh, it's not gonna be spectacular, I knew that, but at least I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes to see the uh, blue hour. It's supposed to be one of the best time to take photos, so I'm gonna stick around for that. here at the Hilto restaurants. So this is the oldest vegetarian restaurant in the world. You could actually sit down and order from the menu as a regular restaurant or hit the buffet, which is amazingly, crazily eclectic. Wow, all of these great food are vegetarian. That's awesome. anything from the sweet potato fries to nuggets, samosa, tofu, quinoa, and then papaya. It's just random things. If you opt to do the buffet, don't forget to actually weigh your food. Otherwise, they will charge you a little bit more than I think what should cost you. Even though I think I heard it that you're supposed to do it, but I didn't weigh mine and I ended up paying 35. 
25 US dollars or about 30 Swiss francs for all the food that I ate. So consider that if you're actually on the budget, you probably want to make sure that you are not. If you want buffet is all you can eat, but it's not the case. So good night from Zurich and it's gonna be a different day tomorrow. <laughs> this is the Mu, I guess Mule, Mule Steg uh, with the umlaut. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Ooh, only goes so far. Rum and Coke, anyone? <laughs> 